No matter how many times I see Crystal City, it's still impressive. Maybe this will get someone's attention. Halt! Who goes there? Torin of the Farman Valley. The bridge is up! Yes, I see, but I thought perhaps I would be able to convince you to, um... Oh. Uh, I guess not. There's no way I could get across that moat. The croctopus may well combine the worst characteristics of both animals, but its skin makes an excellent laptop computer case. Here we are, boys, the site of the next Moat Olympics. I hope you win the gold medal. Thanks, Torin. You're okay for such a dry person. Yeah, thanks. And in return, I'll put in a good word for you with some of my croctopus friends. Good word? I don't need good words. I need moat scum and plenty of it. Oh, you do, do you? And exactly where do you want it? Why, right up here. <laughs> hey, croc, pass the boy some scum. Well, I guess I'll just leave this delicious moat scum right here for a while. Now I'm gonna get you. Those slugs are so fast, I'll never catch them like this. If only I could make a trap. Boogle, can you make a box right over that moat scum? That's it, Boog. Now we've got them. No more caffeine for you guys. Thanks, Boogle. Here's your order, sir. Slugs and peat moss, just as you requested. But boy, did I have to go through a lot just to bring these to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You probably just walked around that cliff to the deli. What? You mean... 
Just a little guardhouse humor, boy. Ain't no food within days of this place. Now get over there in that kitchen and rattle them pots and pans. All right, but this is my first attempt at cooking such a delicacy. Well, at least it's quick to prepare. Here you are, monsieur. Bon appétit. Now, can we get on with it? Now, the perfect conclusion to a near-perfect meal. Dessert. And a nice latte. Dessert? Latte? Oh, no. Oh, stop your griping. You can skip the latte. Just bring me some dessert. Huh. All right. What'll you have for dessert? Why, there's only one thing that would top spaghetti and peat balls. I'm afraid to ask. Root. Yeah, let's make sure of something. If I prepare you a, a root, then will I be done? Bingo! Bright boy. Yep, good old root would be just fine. If you want a square meal, this looks like the root. Here you go. One large root. Want to help me fix it? No, I'll just wait right here. Somehow, I guessed as much. Say, nice square shape, too. Them's the best kind. Okay, how about if I make it into a pie? Great. While that's in the oven baking, why don't you and I head back to the Phenocrest chamber? Ah, just smell that aroma. You know, there's nothing like coming home to find the square root pie. Phew. Say, uh, we going out on that joke? No, we're going out through the secret passage. Wait here while I get something. Pick a shard. Any shard. <laughs> I've been waiting 15 years to use that line. There you go, boy. The joint's all yours. I'm gonna grab my pie and hit the road. Gotta get on home, you know. <laughs> that is, if I can remember where home is. But wait, what about me? Aren't you supposed to train me in how this thing works? Works? Can't. Don't remember. Heck, it don't matter no way, boy. Nobody's come through here in years. But is this the way to the lands below? Could be. But you don't care. All you gotta do is make sure nobody from down there gets up here. These stones are much too large to lower by hand. That console must be the answer.
This powder must be important. But what if there isn't any of it in the lands below? I'd better find something to hold enough so I can get home again. I'd better get enough of this powder to last. If it does take me to the lands below, I'll need enough to get home again. Now, how do I get through this thing? In the bag, bub! Hang on, Boogle. I hope I'm right about this.